Hey folks, what is the battery degradation of a Tesla Model 3? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel folks. Thanks for watching. My name is Dax. This is Tesla Talks. Now, every now and then, I don't know if you know, I, I run a Facebook group for the Canadian Model 3 group and the Model Y group. And every now and then, a new member or person comes along the group and brings up the topic of battery degradation, whether it's a year in or six months in or two years in, or if, even if it's brand new and, and some people like freak out in the first two weeks saying, I'm not getting the same range that I did when I first got the car. And it is frustrating, let me just say for us off, it's frustrating, but, I, I, and I, but at the same time I get people's uh, worry and I get their panic a little bit, but what I end up telling them, there's absolutely nothing to worry about, especially this time of year. This time of year is when a lot of the people come out of the woodwork and start panicking as the temperatures start dropping, the nights start to get a little colder, at least here in Southern Ontario or anywhere in the North or Northern United States or even Northern countries in Europe and stuff like that where they experience winter. So that's when the panic sets in. In the summer, you never hear, or hardly ever, you ever hear about people complaining about battery degradation. Well, I was just reading an article on electric and they were talking about a person, the guy's name is Kazi Imam. Sorry if I put your name. He has a Model 3 that's two years old, a long range, real wheel drive, just like mine. He's got over 100,000 miles on his car. And they talk about, cost of ownership and stuff like that uh, some interesting things he's had the car like I said 100,000 miles he spent just over $4,700 in total cost of ownership within those two years within those 100,000 miles nearly 3,000 of it was uh, charging and cost of uh, charging the car and then $1,700 or roughly $1,700 in um, parts and repairs and stuff like that, which I'll go through some of it. Some of it was pretty astonishing that uh, Tesla actually covered. In the article, it, it describes it at 51,000 miles. He had the wooden dash part on the trim, started peeling and everything, and they covered it under warranty. Uh, now, remember, the warranty only is for 50,000 miles, but there are some parts of the warranty. Wow, that guy on that bike is flying. There are now remember, there are parts of the car that are covered under warranty that exceed the 50,000 mile warranty. He had a squeak on his window at about 63,000 miles and they covered that under warranty. All it was was some uh, rubber seal. At 71,000 miles, he had some kind of front left safety restraint fault error. They fixed that under Goodwill. So it wasn't under warranty. If you're not familiar with Tesla, every now and then they will do something that's not covered under warranty just as a goodwill gesture. Usually you only get one, but sometimes I've heard some people get away with a couple, two or three sometimes. So keep that in mind. Now he was lucky at 93,000 miles, the headrest here, which a lot of people have complained about, started bulging and deforming and stuff like that. And that was covered under warranty. Now I've heard some people complain that Tesla hasn't covered it under warranty. And it's actually quite a popular problem that Knock on wood, that hasn't been a problem for me, but uh, you know what? It could come up at any time and whether I'll get it covered under warranty or not, it seems to be like a crapshoot. It just depends on dealer to dealer uh, or service center to service center. It could be different. So he was lucky. So really those are the only things he's had problems with. So now let's talk about degradation of the battery pack. Now remember, he's got 100,000 miles. It's probably one of the highest mileage Model 3s known out there. Now at 100,000 miles, when he charges his car to 100%, he's still getting 305 miles, folks, to a full charge. So anyone that says that their battery is prematurely uh, degrading or something like that, I think we need to just take that into consideration and realize that, guys, your cars are fine. The battery pack, one of the best things with Tesla is their battery pack and their battery management system. The way Tesla has written the code for the battery management system, it protects the battery pack no matter what you do, almost no matter what you do. If you abuse it, you charge it up to 100% all the time, you drop it down to like one or 2% all the time, it will protect your battery pack. That is the most important thing for the BMS right now is to protect your battery. So 
Rest assured, I mean, I'm someone that's near the end of their warranty. I've got, let me see, I've got 75,000 kilometers uh, on my car, just over 75,000 kilometers. So I've got 5,000 left in miles. That is, what is that? Hey Siri, what is 75,000 kilometers in miles? 75,000 kilometers is 46,602.84 miles. So 4,600, sorry, sorry. So 46,600 miles. So I'm close to the 50,000 mile warranty ending very, very soon. So I, am I worried? No, there's a, a couple things I want to get checked before before the warranty is up, like the headlights, um, the brow part of the headlights have gone on mine, the LED strip. And the uh, control arm, I think now on the drop, the passenger side, has gone on me uh, so i'll get those taken care of while i'm still under warranty but am i worried about the battery pack no tesla and especially the model 3 and probably even more now with the model y that it's out this is why in my opinion we pay extra or what we call they used to call the apple tax for apple products but let's just call it the tesla tax you pay a little bit more for a tesla because the battery pack is so well done and the degradation on these cars are second to none. The, remember, this is the Nissan Leaf. No offense to any Nissan Leaf owners out there, but we all know a Nissan Leaf owner will have to admit, if they're being honest, they didn't have the best track record with their battery packs and degradation when the Leaf first came out and even, even the newer Leafs to some extent now. So anyways, degradation of the Model 3 battery is non-existent basically non-existent yeah there may be the odd case here or there just like in any in any product or any car you know there's you know little edge cases here and there but overall majority of the time you have a good battery a good car drive the car enjoy it enjoy all the tech enjoy all the benefits of the car don't worry with the battery pack don't worry about any degradation if one day you wake up and it's low don't worry about it. If the temperature's getting uh, colder out wherever you live, that could that could that probably is the reason why. Also, a big tip, and I should have given this at the very very beginning before I even started this, is change if you can. I mean, to each their own. It's a, it's a uh, personal preference. But if you can change your battery to percentage and not miles or kilometers, when you change it to percentage, you will find that a lot less anxiety or worry about range anxiety or how your battery is depleting uh, upon every use. I used to, when I first got the car, I was a kilometer guy or a, a mileage guy. And then about six months in, I switched it over to percentage after Trevor Page suggested I should change it over. Credit to Trevor for giving me that advice. I've never looked back. I've been in percentage and I don't even worry about it anymore. I don't care if I have 200 kilometers left. I don't care if I have 300 kilometers left. I don't, I don't care if the, if at 80% that I charge up to 80% every day and one day it says this and another day it says that. And then that's what's going to drive you nuts, folks. Change it to percentage. You won't have to worry about it. As long as your car charges to 80% every night or whatever you set it to, 70%, 90% is up to you, then you don't have to worry about it. So that's my little tip, folks. That's my little talk about uh, battery degradation. It's not scientific. I didn't get into um, uh, inside baseball and talk all tech and stuff like that. I just wanted to talk about this one article that I read when it talked about batteries and degradation and 100,000 miles. I'm halfway there and my car is still running great. And if I can get another 50,000 miles out of this car, that'll be great. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.